Yeah, yo, yeah, I had this friend, and all he would do is, like, ask questions. We'd be like, yeah, he, was, he was kind of a poorer guy than me because he was kind of shitty towards everybody he ever met. Like, you're a Christian, and you're handing him pizza, and he's, like, lambasting you for your Christianity. Uh, and, like, talking shit about the religion. I'm like, dude, that's fine. I'm an atheist. I get you. I think he's an agnostic or something. Um, but he won't get on Facebook, and he whines how, like, his friends hate him after a week. Dude's dumb. He, he breaks by his own intelligence. His name's Seth Hartman. He wandered around. Now he lives in a tent in the woods in Spokane. Because, like, everywhere he lives, like, he gets kicked out of about a $60 backgammon table for his birthday. I dropped $240 on his birthday last year. And he didn't even give me so much as a card on mine, which was, like, two months later. And then he wanted me to buy him this, like, Christmas present that I was talking about. I was like, no! You know, you abuse my friendship. And then he's like, I started, like, really blasting into him. And he's like, why are you so mean? I'm like, why are you asking me so many fucking questions? He'll come in... And, like, want to be chill and, like, smoke weed with you and whatever. Want to drink with you. And he might even have some. In Washington, it's legal. He might have some weed. But, like, uh, go to the Autolanos or, like, I'll take him out to eat or something. Because he's, he's got less than me. So I'm, I'm helping him out. But by the time I'm done eating, he's, uh... Yeah, uh, he's just starting to order his food. Um, go to a bar or something with him, and he just like putting your shit on blast in public, uh, talking to the people and the tables all around him. Um, like uh, talking to the bartender about your deal, and then like getting mad at you when you call him out for his shit. He'll come in like say you're not that handsome. His hair is all like shitty and shit. Like uh, like he looks like he's covered in lice. He'll, he'll like tell you how you're not handsome when his hair is all sticking up and his clothes are all disheveled and he's covered in dirt. And he'll tell you how shitty a person you are as you're like handing him food and he's laughing at it. You know he's laughing about whatever you think. If you're an atheist, he'll make fun of your atheism. If you're an agnostic, he'll make fun of your agnosticism. If you're a Christian, he'll make fun of your Christianity as you're hooking him up with food. And he's laughing about the things that, like, trigger you. You know, people will be like, why are you so triggered? Why are you so triggered? Well, people get triggered when they hear racist things like the N-word or retard or bitch, you know, the, they get triggered by those things, the misogynistic things. But you ask, like, why are you so triggered when I call you a misogynist? Why are you so triggered when I call you a sexist or a racist? Aren't you triggered? So shut up. So I built this website, Cute Older Daddy, and I decided, well, I'm going to answer a bunch of questions. If you want to answer... Uh, to your question, give me five bucks. I already answered a bunch of them. I was fair, you know. I I I, uh, I asked my own questions, and then answered them because I wanted people to realize that you know I didn't want. It's not really about me trying to get their money. It's me about more answering the questions. If you have a question that I haven't already answered, uh, I don't know. There's a lot of questions answered there. I built the fact, um, so people would have answers. It's not really about making money for me it's about getting a girlfriend and posing some information that might help others for free um the millennials will use it you know they'll be like these zoomers are age phobic dude i'm gen x get off my shit um uh yeah the zoomers are age phobic but you're a millennial and you're using my shit little fucking republican weird ass dude bros i hate them um so, like, uh, yeah, if you want me to answer your questions, I mean, if we're on a date or something, you hit me up on Instagram and we all go out on a date, you and I, then good, I'll, you know, I'll answer your questions. If you're family, I'll answer your questions. If it's got anything to do with, like, telomeres and stuff or whatever, I addressed a couple different topics on uh, the, the website. 
Um, if it's not already, uh, if you don't got money, then don't hit me up to ask a bunch of questions. If I don't know you, it's not going to happen. If you're my friend, then I'll probably answer your questions. But if you're a tit to me, then no. Uh, like my older brother, he's a tit to me, all these run on questions. I'm not going to answer his shit. Give me some money. He's out there bitching about how I'm not, I don't have a job. Uh, but I've made forty dollars from this website. Guy gave me like forty bucks, so I actually gave it to me for free. He didn't ask any questions. He just was supportive of me. So over three days, he gave me like forty bucks. Just, just nice guy, I guess. But you know, if you got questions, write me. If we're on a date or something. You know, they'll answer your questions. If you're just in my house and we're not going to date and you want a platonic friendship with me, I'm not going to answer your questions. I'd rather be alone than have a bunch of platonic friendships with women. If you want to date me, let's go out on a date. I'm not here to listen to you fucking hate. You know, I'm not here to listen to your criticism at all. I will live my life how I live my life. If you don't like me, get the fuck away from me. Do your own shit, you fuckers. You're always Kiwi Farms. You're... You're bitching about shit that you do about other people. You're out there gaslighting people. Oh, you're... Why, why, why? But you're out there like, why, why, why with your daddy, which is your boyfriend that's your own age. Hypocrite. Age phobe. DNA breaking down out there. There's racism out there, even from liberals out there. Your DNA breaking down out there. You need a Generation X dude. But you're all out there like, oh, I'm, a, I'm a leftist, but you... you Daddy has a credit card, and he's your bank. But anyway, I got my own questions. I can save my questions. Um, if you got questions, come to the website. Give me five bucks a question, and I'll answer your questions. Sometimes I just get bored and ask myself questions, and then I answer them. Um, but that's for the, the benefit of others. You know, I, I do it because I want people to have the information. And I want Generation X dudes to hook up with Zoomer chicks. And uh, have babies with them. You know, I'm not talking about Epstein, like, uh, 13-year-olds, this douche. I'm talking about, like, 18 to 24-year-olds with, like, 40 to 55-year-old guys. Why? Well, check out the website. You know, uh, cuteolderdaddy.weebly.com. I'll answer your questions. Everything comes with a price, though. You know, if we're eating sushi together, you're my girl, Yeah. If we're, we just met, I don't know you. You not? I don't see a badge. 